Welcome everyone to today's episode. Today a fun little business related project. This is my very first scanner, an Avision 630CS SCSI scanner. SCSI ports, SCSI ID, dip switches and regular 12 volt power input. And of course flatbed color. And uh, this scanner I got in 1998. Here's even some warranty sticker from a German distributor that unfortunately went out of business one or two years ago. I must have got it somewhere around this time, nearly exactly 20 years ago. And while I was thinking to make such a video, does my very first scanner still work with our XX scan software? A customer of us called us the other day, said they're still using another SCSI scanner. And he was asking if SCSI scanners were still supported. And I thought, yeah, they should theoretically be. But honestly, we don't test them so often. As we take quality and testing seriously here, I actually did test this scanner a year or two ago and even found a regression that we fixed that also would have affected other similar scanners of this area. In XX scan we support nearly 500 scanners with our own drivers and this is actually the nearly very first of those. And today we are going to test if it still works. For this we use my trusty Firewire SCSI adapter that works natively on macOS. The only thing is for this we need some Mac with Firewire and of course the best Apple Firewire cable you could find. So Firewire goes here, adapter goes here. This goes to the SCSI port. Could even fix it here a little bit if you wanted to. No less than the original and matching power supply. At one time we got so many scanners, obviously I made a mark on some of those. And so let's plug this in. If you follow all of my videos, this Firewire adapter is powered with SCSI term power and I think many devices like scanner don't provide term power so we need a power supply for this that is 5 volt. So you see dongles, dongles and power supplies. That's all we need. Let's plug this all together. The power, power goes there. <coughs> and of course a good old trusty Mac. If you're one of those on Twitter arguing me about cable quality and not believing that we had 20 Macs. Here's the next Mac. You can see more videos of me with other Macs. So you can believe me when I talk about cable quality that we had quite some Macs. We also have some more but um, the newer ones don't have Firewire. So we use this one today. Also not the very latest Mac OS right now. Here's High Sierra probably needs some modifications to run on this. So we test with whatever is on here, which happens to be 10.9. So let's boot that and plug in the rest. That was scanner power, then firewire cable. It's on the other side. Okay, on the other side. And firewire power. And because we are professionals, some professional fake application for a US passport test scan sheet goes here. So exact scan pro, don't need the train bridge. And this just let's test it. So it looks like it already picked it up. Scanner info, AVision, model AV630CS, firmware 1.20, A60. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's do a test scan. And maybe not the fastest, also waiting for the lamp to warm up. I, by the way, did not intend to open a scanner business. Actually, the scanner was what made me migrate from Windows to Linux because because uh, Windows software would crash so often, especially scanning 256 colors, which I usually try to use to save some storage space as with the Pentium 120 and some 4 gigabyte or so of hard drive space or so. Space was at a premium and uh, obviously 256 colors sounded great for this purpose. However, especially the scanner driver was a little bit crashy and it was one of the last straws that made me 
migrate from Windows to Linux and then I had to write my own scanner driver because nearly everything worked, just not the scanner. So what did we get here? So this is a preview. This is our preview scan. I think it made it with 150 dpi. Actually quality is not bad for a 20 year old scanner, just not the very fastest. So we can zoom in here, take a closer look on things. Actually in retrospect this touchpad is, I have to say, not the greatest. Quite some things have changed with this generation of touchpads. And uh, yeah, not too bad. So if you got some older scanner or PC scanners that are not supported on the Mac, maybe you want to check out our exact scan. Even this two decade old scanner still works. And obviously one part of our job is constantly adding new drivers. In the meantime, we do not only support AVision, we also support directly Fujitsu, Canon, Panasonic, Vision Xerox, and many other OEM scanners like Kodak, Brother, Epson, and such, you name it. And just for comparison's sake, I could show you how fast modern scanners are. Let me just take one of the latest and greatest A4 models and scan some 100 pages in the same time the scanner scanned one page. This will not even be maximum performance because this is a USB 3 scanner and this Mac obviously is not USB 3. So AD280, the same Serenity PI color, however it's auto crop and DSQ. Let's see how this is going compared to the 20 year old flatbed scanner. Not bad for a vintage Mac over USB 2. On your Macs you will get even better performance with USB 3 and more processing power for compressing the PDF and performing all the software image processing. So, quite a dramatic difference in 20 years. I hope you enjoyed today's video, a more direct report from work. I hope you learned something and don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come.